Hello and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgovan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create email opt-in forms within Squarespace. And there's really two ways to do this, one of which, uh, and I'm going to kind of show you both. The first is by actually using a form, which is going to kind of appear like this, where you have really just kind of this, these two form pieces just floating out within space. And then the second one, which I'll show you, is going to actually have some ability to put some stylization around it, a heading, kind of a little thing down here, and actually change the background color of the form. And so what I want to show you today is basically how to use both and kind of the advantages and disadvantages to each opt-in form. So to start off, we're going to go to the back end of Squarespace. And I'm going to scroll down here to this newsletter sign-up test page that I have. So the first way I'm going to show you how to do this is by using just a simple form feature. And what we're going to do here is we're going to click the little plus icon, which pulls up our entry piece. And we're going to scroll down to this form option right here. We're going to click on form. And then it's going to basically pull up this general form. like, a, And it's always going to pull up the subject, message, name, email address. Well, if we're just trying to do an email opt-in, we don't really need all of that. So we don't want a subject. So we can hit this little X right here and delete the subject space. We can delete the message space. And then it's also going to automatically ask for first name and last name. Uh, if you've ever studied email opt-in forms, you generally know that a lot of people don't like to put their last name in here, so I generally actually delete this as well. But what if we still want their first name? Uh, what I generally do then is I go down here to add field, and I click a plus icon, and here I add a new text space, just a text, and I say first name. And what this allows me to do is just request their first name and not everything. And then with the little form option here, you have the ability to click these little dots and drag this above or below the email address. So that is the basics, and you probably want to title it, so we say newsletter test form. And uh, <coughs> we have now just basically created a simple email opt-in form within Squarespace. But where is the email form going? We need to send it somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to this storage feature right up here in the kind of edit form window. You have this storage space. And what automatically what it's going to do is send you an email at whatever your Squarespace email address is. So that, that's automatically done. But what if you want to say, I don't know, save those in a list or connect them to an email uh, program? Well, within Squarespace, you have a few, or uh, I guess a few options to do this. The first thing you can do is connect this to a Google Doc. And what that'll do is basically automatically put anyone that signs up, it'll put their contact information into a Google Doc Excel spreadsheet. So to do this, you want to first be logged in to your Gmail account within your browser. And then you want to click on to connect Google Docs. Once this shows up, you're going to go over here and add your account. And then you're going to give it offline access, Squarespace offline access to your Google account. And now you basically get to name the spreadsheet that you want to for this form. So newsletter, test form. And now once I've done this, it's going to automatically create a Google Doc within my Google Drive and save all of the contact information that comes through here into a spreadsheet. Now the other thing you can do with a email opt-in form is to do connect it to MailChimp. And with MailChimp, it's a free email software. You can use it for free up until 500 subscribers. And it's also a very good and easy to use tool. I honestly use it for my personal email list. And if you have a MailChimp account, what you're going to do is simply um, you just need to have that login information ready and you're going to click on MailChimp and it's going to do the same thing where it pops up a window and it's going to bring you to MailChimp's login instructions here. I'll give it a second and I've got mine already saved and you're just going to hit login once you put in your login information here. And 
and give it a second to connect. And once it connects, you then have ability to choose a list. So within the MailChimp backend, you can create multiple lists for maybe different services or email lists you have. And you can just choose the list that you want to choose. So I'm going to choose Jake Jorgovin's newsletter. And now anyone that signs up through here is automatically going to be added to my MailChimp list and my Google Doc. And I'm going to receive an email and notification that they have just signed up. So again, there's a lot of different ways you can use this form, this feature. Now the last thing I want to show you about using the form for an email editor is you have some other advanced controls as well. So if I go up here and I click on this advanced feature in the top right, I can actually change the button label. So submit isn't really what you want to put for a email lineup uh, or email opt-in. You want to put sign up. And so if I put sign up, then uh, once I save this, that text will actually change from submit to sign up. And then you can change your button alignment from left to center or to right. And then last, you can change your post submit message to say thank you for signing up for my email list. And then as soon as someone puts in their information, this text will pop up. So um, you also have this light box mode, which again, you, you don't necessarily need to worry about too much. Um, but again, they're going to hit save here on this. And now you'll see that the sign up, submit turn to sign up, and the form is saving on my page. Now what I've just showed you is the first way to create an email opt-in form, and this is actually just through their form editor. So I'm going to label this real quick. Um, form feature email opt-in. So what I've created here is just a little email opt-in form feature. But there is another way to do this through an actual newsletter sign-up form within Squarespace. So we're going to do a newsletter sign-up form. And I honestly, there's a few reasons that I actually like the, the form one better, and I'll explain those as I go along. But if we go down here, we click our little plus icon. And now I go down to this newsletter option. Instead of the form, I click on newsletter. And what it's going to do is kind of create this gray backdrop with a heading, a subheading, a little header down here, and then an email address. And so you can change the heading here, <coughs> sign up for my email list. And you can change this little subheading, weekly inspiration and education about Squarespace. And I need to learn to type. And then you have this little kind of disclaimer down here. I won't spam you. And you can add this here as well. And what you'll see is it automatically defaults to just the email address form. But if you want, you can click on required name field. And now it's going to show first name, last name, and email address. This is probably my biggest complaint about the newsletter form, is I don't like asking for someone's last name. If you do any research into email opt-in forms, everyone will tell you that if you ask for even just a last name, you're going to get less people that sign up. So that's honestly why I use this form editor. It's really the number one reason that I use it more than just the email opt-in form. So I'm going to leave that off now and just have the kind of basic sign-up form. And I also want to explain one thing. If not all of these forms have to be filled out. So what if I, I don't want this little disclaimer? I get rid of it. Now my form just got smaller. Or if I don't want even this little byline, now my form got even smaller. So one of the biggest complaints a lot of people have is my email newsletter signup is huge. Well, the you can change it with custom CSS, or the easiest thing you can do is just take out all of these fields because you don't need them, and it makes your form a lot smaller than before. Now, similar to the form thing, we're going to have these two other options for storage and advanced. So if we go to storage, you're going to notice something. There is no email uh, notification. With a newsletter sign-up form, they only let you do Google Docs or MailChimp. So you can either connect it to a Google Doc or you can connect the form to MailChimp. There is no way to just have it email it to you. So in order for this to work, you either have to have a Gmail account 
or a Google account or you have to have a MailChimp account and you're simply gonna have to connect to one of these two in order to make it work so just for examples purposes here I'm going to connect this to my MailChimp and then I'm going to do Jake Jorgeman's newsletter as the list uh, and so again you have to either connect it to one of these two in order for the form to work and then last you're going to go over here to advanced and you have the same abilities to change the opt-in form so this one automatically goes to sign up but if you want it to be submit for some reason you could do that as well but we're going to leave it as sign up you can change the button alignment to left center or right which really doesn't make too much of a difference on this one and you can change the post text for this thank you for signing up signing up and we're going to hit save on this now there is one cool thing about the newsletter sign up form that I'm going to show you and that's the fact that you have the ability to stylize this a bit more so we're going to hit save and we're going to go to view page and we're going to actually come over to the style editor and make our email opt-in form look a little cooler and on the back end it's always going to kind of show that boring kind of gray look but on the front end you're going to see that since I already have mine styled it actually looks a little different and has st styles and colors according to the theme of my website So once we're here on the front page, um, what we're going to do is scroll down to this newsletter sign-up form. Um, and what we're going to do is we actually want to stylize these two forms to make them look fitting to the site. As you'll see on mine, they're already stylized to the color scheme and look of my site. But that's because I've actually already entered in these options. By default, they're going to kind of look at this gray, kind of boring color. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here to the bottom right, and you're going to go on this paintbrush icon where it says Change Style. You're going to click that, and it's going to pull up this style editor on the left. And what you want to do is you want to scroll over your newsletter sign-up form, and you want to click this, and you're going to see there's this newsletter block feature over here right on the left side that lets you change and stylize your site. So we have the ability to actually just copy this so I can go back to it real quickly, but what if we wanted this to be a more of a reddish color or a pink there so we can change the background color of the site just want to default that back or we can change the button color uh, maybe we want again a redder button but ooh, uh, actually I'll just discard this when I'm done and then you can change the the text color on this as well for the button and then this is a big one. You have the option to choose either a dark or light style. You don't really get the option to change the color of the font of your text within the newsletter. You basically get light or dark. And you'll see over here on my bottom right when this little opt-in form, when I go to a light, it's going to change the text to white or it's going to change it to dark. Um, so that's kind of just little features you have there. And then on this top form up here for the actual form editor, if you click on this sign up button up here, you have the ability to basically change this button color and the button size. Uh, so you don't get too much control over it, but uh, these are kind of the different ways to create an email opt-in form in Squarespace and some of the pros and cons to each option. So I hope this was helpful in teaching you how to create email opt-in forms for your site. Um, check back again for more tutorials coming up. And if you need help with your Squarespace site, you can reach out to me at jake-jorgovin.com slash Squarespace.